Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and today I am here with a bit of a bittersweet unboxing. This is my very last order from Craftably, which is a diamond painting small shop that unfortunately recently announced that they're going to be closing their doors. As of the time of this filming and posting, there are still a few kits left in stock on their website. Um, I recommend going and taking a look. If there's something you want, jump on it. Uh, but it's such, such a bummer to see this company shut down. But I have a lot of their kits in my stash, and I'm frequently seeing their kits pop up in on D stash like Facebook groups or you know webs apps like Mercari or uh, eBay and stuff so if you're wanting to try to get your hands on one of these kits they are honestly just some of my favorite quality kits that are out there and I'm gonna be treasuring mine and hopefully this one I guess will help you decide if you want to go and try to hunt some down maybe do some last minute shopping from them and just to enjoy taking a look at some of these craftably kits with me so i have two kits here i actually placed these this order the day before they announced they were closing um i have summer splendor 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 <laughs> by bridget voth and i also have little dragons galaxy by sheena pike art so we're gonna take a look at both of these and just be a little like in honor of Craftably. So um, on their boxes, they do have their branding. They have the sticker that has the information about the kit, including this size. This one is 28 by 24 inches round diamonds. I think it'll have the dimensions and centimeters inside. Uh, this was after they had switched to doing their kit distribution through um, a distribution center. So I did ship. They these shipped in like kind of a plastic bag. It's one of the owners, Amy. And this is what your kit contents are going to look like here. Yep, family owned Texas business. Uh, so let's take a look. I am absolutely still planning on um, working on these craftable kits. You'll continue to see them on my channel. And like I said, you are able to find these kits in D stashes and whatnot if you, you know, I, re I recommend trying. Trying them out if you haven't. Uh, let's pull this on out. And I think, yeah, okay. Everything is going to be in here, including the toolkit. So let's take a look together. So it comes with kind of this linen bag here. And it's it's kind of a really like some upgraded features for a toolkit, in my opinion. Uh, so the basics that come with it, you do get a tray and um, everything is purple themed which is really fun. Um, let's see. Okay, we have a pen and a squishy. And we do have a, the thin multi-placer that comes in there. I think it's it says it's a four-placer. You get another four-placer and a seven-placer here. We have a pair of purple tweezers. They're a bit sharp, so do keep that cover on. Um, we have some purple wax. You'll want to peel back that. There's a thin plastic film in there. You want to peel that back before you try to load up your pen. And we have a purple sparkly tray. Those were all included in the kind of the basic toolkit portion of this. And then these were on the outside. So you get some additional wax, some more purple wax and a caddy. We have a couple of rolls of washi tape. And I think the print on these will vary as far as which ones you're going to get. And then we also have a cover minder and the style on this varies as well, but it usually comes in this little container. So uh, that is their toolkit. I feel like it's a pretty, it's a pretty nice toolkit, honestly. It's got some nice upgrades. Um, yeah, they do a nice job with it. So as far as the kit and the canvas goes, um, it's got kind of this short lint or soft lint backed canvas. And I have completed a number of craftably kits. I've been very happy with how they've turned out. Look at this pretty dragon. Oh my goodness. And I recently saw this one completed and by a couple of different people actually. And it looks good, you guys. I heard that it has a lot more confetti than you might think at first glance. Um, but I think we're gonna get a really nice level of detail. One of my favorite things about Craftably is that they do hand chart their images. And I feel like they do such a nice job with hand charting their images. The way that they turn out tends to be a little bit more on the clean and crisp side. It's very much my style. They're some of my favorite kits to work on as far as how they end up uh, turning out in the end. So this is, you know, this is wanting to peel back or uh, roll back on itself because this, this, this tape is here. Just gonna yank that off though. Yep, <laughs> it's gonna help a bit. Um, okay, so you're gonna have included this larger sticker sheet. Um, 
There's some fun stickers. So there's the size again. I'm gonna put this one in my logbook once I start working on it. I like that it has a spot to write your start date and your finish date. And then over here we have a set of pre-cut sticker labels. Looks like this kit's gonna have 67 colors in total, including what looks like some special shaped diamonds. I actually did see these on the canvas, some like star-shaped symbols, some big oversized star shapes. So I'm excited to take a look at those. These, like I said, are pre-cut out for you. And so if you put your diamonds into storage containers, you can just peel off these labels and uh, slap them in the storage containers. And it's really convenient that way. 67 colors in total, quite colorful. The coats that you see on the right hand side here, these are from the DMC color code system, which most diamond painting companies do use. Uh, that craftably though has a lot of special drills in their kits. It's also one of the things that I love most about how they do their kits. There's usually a lot of special drills that have also been really intentionally hand charted on the diamond painting. In this kit, we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ABs. I think LZ is going to be crystals. So we're going to have four crystals and then two special shaped diamonds. That's four crystal colors, not just four <clears throat> crystal crystals in total. So um, this is a handy inclusion. I love that they have that. We have a pack of diamonds, which we will take a look at more closely later, but there's the sticker on there as well. And then let me take you on a little tour of the canvas and its features. So we have Craftably Diamond Painting, their logo up here at the top. Um, we have finished and scalloped edges. So you shouldn't have to worry about fraying. There is, like I said, that kind of soft lint, short lint backed canvas. I feel like it does lay flat nicely, especially once there are diamonds on it. And it's, it's a nice material to diamond paint on. They have kind of a thicker plastic cover and they use poured glue that is really sticky and I have not had trouble with diamonds falling off of my craftably canvases. We have a color list up here at the top left, all 67 colors. You'll find this same color list over here at the bottom right along with, there is a thumbnail of the original artwork and the size listed there. And then here is a little bit of information about their licensing. So yes, all of Craftably's kits are legally licensed from the artist, which means that Sheena Pike, which in this case looks like was probably via artlicensing.com, has both uh, given permission for the use of her artwork and is being compensated for it by Craftably. And I'm all about supporting companies that do legally license their artwork. Um, down here, we have uh, some information about their socials and they do have a guarantee. However, I, I do think that of course, with the company closing down that this, you know, is something that I don't think they're going to be able to fulfill, but I, that just is what it is. Um, if you run out of drill colors or something like that, um, you can shop. There's like diamond drills, USA or, um, diamondpaintingdrills.com. There's a lot of different websites where you can get replacements. And if you ever, if you've like run into trouble with the glue or the canvas, I suggest jumping into some of these like diamond painting related Facebook groups. I have one that I share with my friend Lindsay from Emeralds and Fairy Lights. Our Facebook group is called Diamonds and Emeralds. It's always linked in the description of my videos. And it's Diamond Painting Community. If you ever have questions or need to troubleshoot something with your canvas, come visit us over there. We're a super friendly and welcoming group and would be more than happy to help. So um, that is this canvas. Let me grab my measuring tape and I'll be able to give you the dimensions in centimeters because if you're like me, even though I live in the US, my brain only operates in centimeters when it comes to diamond paintings. I just, I can't, I don't know what it is. Only diamond paintings though. Um, so it looks like it's about 72 centimeters wide and then height wise, we're talking about 61 centimeters. So actually a pretty good size. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, let me show you a little bit of the drill field up close to, that's what I was forgetting to do. <laughs> I was blanking a little bit. Yeah. There's, especially in dragon scales, um, in general, whether it's this company or others, even if it's hand charted, I feel like dragon scales end up having a good amount of confetti. Now confetti is where you have a lot of color changes in a small area. Sometimes it literally looks like confetti, like right here, it looks like someone just sprinkled some of that color in there. Uh, usually you'll be doing some single placing with those and changing out the color in your tray a bit more often. It tends to take a little bit longer to do high confetti areas or paintings, but the payoff is usually some nice color blending and, um, and more detail. 
So especially with hand charted kits, I am also seeing some bits of color blocking here and there. Here's a good example. So color blocking is when you have kind of a chunk of the same color in a small area, you'll be able to multi-place, you'll have that color in your tray for a bit longer. And it is nice when you have some color blocking to kind of move things along. But I would say this is maybe a little bit heavier in terms of confetti versus color blocking. I do like a nice mix of both of my canvases because confetti keeps it interesting, but color blocking keeps it moving. That dragon face looks so good. The cute little horns up there. Sheena Pike has a ton, a ton of different dragons. Um, and I know Craftably has had a handful of them kind of over, over their time in the diamond painting world. So if there's a particular one you're looking for, you know, you could do a search and kind of see what, what others might be out there. Let's take a look at the diamonds. The colors in this kit are just, I feel like exactly what I would expect from something called, um, has galaxy in the name. Lots of blues, purples, blacks. Let's take a look. Um, so right off the bat, I'll go ahead and I'll show you. It looks like at the end here, this little straggler strand. This is our special shaped diamonds. So we have these big gold stars and then we have these smaller kind of crystal, clear crystal stars. I love that. I haven't worked on a craftably kit that has these special shaped diamonds before, but um, I love it. I can't wait to see uh, how those are going to look. And then if we're looking, let me see how these strands are. Okay. So it does look like craftably puts them in order of DMC and kind of legend order. So we've got like one, two, three, and so on and so forth. And then the number on the right is the DMC code. Um, and these are round diamonds. They're so sparkly and lots of you know what that's gonna be hard to kind of see the colors let me flip you this way and grays and purples I have zero complaints about my craftably diamonds I feel like they have been really amazing to work with very consistent in size and shape I haven't ever run out of a color I just I love the sparkle of them they're just great to work with, no complaints. Is that 550? Uh-huh, royal purple. And then, oh, that pretty pink there. Lots of blues. Almost looks like that one's split and they taped it back up. Hey, you know what? Props to them for noticing um, an issue and fixing that so that I didn't have diamonds going everywhere. I very much appreciate that. Uh, tons of these particular colors. Yeah, like two bags of 798, however many bags of 797 and 796. Yeah, all that blue shading is gonna look great, I think. Okay. Lots of colors in this one, so I'm just gonna kind of zip through these. All those blues and aquas. And, um,. I guess it is, it is convenient that these are in order of DMC code because I like to kit up with my diamonds in DMC order, actually. And I think all the special diamonds are going to be together at, at the very end. I will show you, though, I promise. <laughs> I think that these are resin diamonds, though don't quote me on that. Um, I just know that I've had a great experience with, with using them. I'll link to some post reviews I've done of Craftably kits. So here's our first two AB diamonds. We have AB46 and AB209. Um, if you take a look at these, you'll see that these have a sparkly iridescent coating on the top. It's a little easier to see in the purples, I feel like. But AB stands for Aurora Borealis. These get their name from the Northern Lights. They, they, like I said, have this really sparkly iridescent coating on the top that stands out from the other diamonds and really draws your eye to the areas that they have been placed on the canvas and in the artwork. So two big bags, this light blue and this light purple. And I will go through the canvas with you guys and do my best to show you where these special diamonds are going to go. Uh, then we have, these are actually two different shades of purple, <laughs> 210 and 211, more ABs. We have kind of this darker teal AB, this pale pink AB, this a little bit darker blue AB, and then a slightly darker pink AB. Though, you know what? Those are going to be tricky to find each of those individual colors on the canvas, but I will do my best. I'm guessing we're going to see a lot of them in the dragon scales. Then we get into our crystal colors and we have four different crystal colors. So we have this lighter aqua. 
crystal, this slightly darker crystal. The mirror backing on there is gonna cover up this symbol completely and help the crystal effect of these really sparkle and shine quite a bit. We have a tiny bag of that hot pink crystal and then a big bag of this clear crystal. I love this one a lot. So all of those special drills. <laughs> So let's take a look, see if we can find where um, at least a handful of these are going to go. All of those ABs, all of those crystals, um, you're going to find, wow, like there's, there's a lot. So the white here, this is the clear crystal. There's some clear crystal in here as well as over here and the stars and these lines are crystals. Maybe I'll do this one color at a time. That might be easier. Um, clear crystals right here and in this star over here. And then the dragon's wings, actually, that whole white outline here is white crystal, as is this part of the white outline, this part of the white outline, and then on top we have clear crystals going around here. The stars, the little twinkles back here are clear crystals. There's clear crystals right here on the dragon's teeth. That's cute. And then um, there are clear crystals on the horns up here. And here and here and these outlines right here have the clear crystals outlining in them clear crystals right here along the dragon's nose and then if we hop over here there's some clear crystals outlining right here and over here and this little twinkly star here so that big bag of clear, clear crystals you're gonna see a lot of those throughout oh it's in the dragon's eye right here as well and then the let's see right here because i just saw it this is the light pink ab is right there and i saw some more of it of the light pink ab over here some of it right here a couple of it right here and then more light pink ab right here and that's all i see of that light pink ab let's take a look at some of these purple ab's that were all really close in color so c nine and m those three purple ab colors i am seeing all in there's a mix of them in each of these dragon spikes of all three of those ab colors that's really going to help them pop um the i think the light it's medium purple ab color is kind of sprinkled in this area here um this whole star is um a, one of the lighter purple ab's and there's a sprinkling of the medium and light ab's throughout the dragon's um leg here and then there's a lot of the purple ABs in this area. And then all the purple you're seeing in here, a lot of that is purple AB. Um, these scales have some of the purple ABs in them. This is purple AB right here. And uh, we have all three of those purple ABs in this area shading into each other, as well as shading into each other over in this spot. And then if we hop into the dragon's face, yeah. All three of those purple AB shades are going to be found in kind of the pinkish and purple scale spots you're seeing, as well as the dragon's nostrils. All three AB colors are there, um, as well as on the snout, the lighter two colors. All three of the purple ABs are in here and sprinkled through here, as well as in the dragon's ears. This whole outline is the light purple AB. And then up here, we have all three of those purple AB colors, as well as in here so those are the three purple ab colors now let's find our blue ab's we had a lighter and a darker um those are i think those are gonna be harder to find let me see there weren't as big a bags of those either um so i see the darker one there's like a half dozen of them right here and as well hold on i thought i saw some when i was wrong um let's see that little hat symbol where are you going to be like, where are the places where, to me, it would make sense to have, um, have that? Is that it? I am at a loss. Hold on just a second, you guys. Oh, okay. Okay, I see what's happening. Um, I, the symbol that I thought might have been the hat symbol is actually the symbol that is going to be one of the blue crystal colors, but we're not there yet. I wanted to find that light blue AB first. Um, that is baffling me, you guys. That might be one I don't know if I'm going to find in this video. <laughs> I might have to come back for it later. We're going to be here for a really long time. Um, what's over here? That symbol right there, that hat symbol. That's the lighter blue AB color. 
Is there any of it down here too? Or was that it? That might've been it. Yeah, so those two AB colors are a lot fewer and further between. Um, little arrow symbol pointing to the right. Yeah. Yeah, not a lot of those. That is that is A-OK. -okay. Um, hopefully that still shows you at least a little bit of them. Uh, oh, I see the darker, the darker of the blue ABs is there's like a little bit of it up here. So, OK. Um, and then we need to take a look for those crystal colors and the darker pink AB that there was just the smallest amount of. The darker pink AB I just see in the center of the dragon's eye right here. I don't think I see it anywhere else. Okay, and then the crystals. So we have two blue crystal colors, um, a lighter and a darker. And it looks like the lighter one, I see a little bit of it in the twinkles down here and here and um, a little bit right here surrounding the clear crystal. And then there's a lot of this, the slightly darker blue crystal is, I'll throw out the dragon's tail here, and then doing some outlining in here, and then some outlining all throughout here. It's in a lot of the same places as the clear crystal is. We have that big bag of it. There's a bunch of that lighter no it's a darker blue crystal throughout here and actually there's some of the lighter blue as well so all these kind of areas <laughs> that are really glowy there's going to be both of those blue crystal colors as well as in here and then in some of these um these scales these light colored scales as well these areas again a lot of the places we saw those white crystals there are both of the two blue crystal colors as well along this as well as up there and up here over here and um, a little bit right here and actually a little bit here in the dragon's eye of its brow. And then we have um, the dark pink crystal, which there's a very small amount of, is just in the center of the dragon's eyes as well. And then all we have left are the stars. So you can see from back there, yellow stars kind of sprinkled throughout. Those are the special shaped yellow stars. And then the clear stars are a little bit harder to see from further away, but they're like sprinkled throughout the background as well. I saw another one up here, I thought. Yeah, like intermixed in the dragon scales here and here. Um, so it's just gonna be lightly sprinkled. And there's some up here in the sky, this white star symbols over here. Yeah, man, I love how Craftably does their special drill charting. It's so pretty and so good. Um, and there's another yellow star over here. Okay, so that was our long journey through the special drills in Little Dragon's Galaxy. And I'm going to pack this one away, though, and pull out the other kit to go through with you guys, um, which was called Summer Splendor. So give me just a moment, and I will be right back. All right, so Summer Splendor is 20 by 24 inches, has round diamonds, and is by Bridget Voth is the artist. It looks like that she licensed through artlicensing.com as well. Um, this is a little bit of a, this is me kind of trying to step outside of my comfort zone just a little bit. This isn't necessarily the kind of style of artwork I necessarily always gravitate towards, but I actually bought this one, um, largely in hopes of just trying to be a part of supporting Craftably um, as part of their new releases. And I also thought, you know, it's good. To, I think it's good to stretch yourself outside of your comfort zone uh, sometimes. That was one of the main things that motivated me to get this particular kit. Um, okay, there we go. I'm going to gloss over some of the features such as like the what's on the box and um, the toolkit and whatnot just for sake of time. And <laughs> Because, you know, you can, you can um, rewind if you skipped ahead to this part and you're interested to see me talk in more depth about the features on these kits. Uh, can I ask you please to just rewind and you'll be able to watch me talk about them with the other kit. It, I really think they're going to be about the same, but I'll let you know if I notice any differences at all. Oh, here's the here's the toolkit. Again, that's going to be the same. Maybe with some variation on like the washi tape and stuff, but... So cute. Oh, how precious. Oh my gosh, you guys. 
that is so sweet and the colors just look so light and bright and happy now i'm gonna roll this backwards again and see if i can get it to lay flat a little bit better don't worry if you notice these they look like wrinkles in the canvas that is purely where the plastic cover shifted a bit in transit um, rolling it backwards will help also you can peel back the plastic cover i usually will go about halfway each direction and then just carefully lay it back down and that usually you know takes care of it so um this is summer splendor <laughs> and like i said is just very very sweet it almost feels a little bit more springy to me than summery but i you know it's just really cute that's all that matters uh, in this one, I don't know if it was in the other one. There's a little pamphlet in here that talks a little bit about craftably and writes out how to diamond paint. This was not in the other kit, so that's why I'm pointing it out. They do have, I think, still have maybe some of these accessories in stock on the website. Um, and there's the features written out for you. Um, but I would, yeah, definitely hop over to their website if there's anything you might think you want to shop for because they are going to be... I, I'm not sure exactly when they're going to close their doors. This is all the same as well, but there's the original artwork. And it looks like this kit's going to have 67 colors, very colorful again. And one, two, three, four, five, six ABUs. And one, two, three, four crystals in this one again. I'm telling you what, I'm going to miss this. <laughs> I'm going to miss all the special drills and the amazing hand charting and all the really fantastic and unique things that Craftably does. Um, let's, let's take a look up close and the symbols look like, you know, they're the same kind of symbol family. There is a lot of confetti in this background. Um, and I don't know if I would have expected that from the original artwork necessarily. Um, but it has a really soft style to it. And I feel like softer artwork tends to mean often a bit more in the way of confetti because it kind of gives you that. Yeah, soft focus kind of look that way. There's the bunny. So cute. Um, it's gonna have the same features like the soft short lint backed canvas, the poured glue and the thick plastic cover. Here's the licensing information as well. And um, let's let's take a quick measurement. Let's take a measure go, there we go. I love the little hummingbird. It's just, it's so pretty. Uh, we're at 62 centimeters and then we're at um, 51 and a half. So 50-ish by 60-ish. That's a really nice size too. It's a bit smaller than the Galaxy Dragons that we just looked at. And I feel like this might make it more like a little bit more beginner friendly. I did see a couple of patches as we were going of color blocking and a few spots, but this overall does look to be a little bit more confetti heavy in general. But I mean, like I said, really kind of soft artwork. Look at all the detail like in the rabbit's fur. Yeah, at this size point, I feel like this artwork, this this kind of what I am seeing at first glance definitely seems appropriate. So here's a sticker with the original artwork and tells you what these diamonds go with. Just in case you store them separate from the canvas and outside the box they came in. Talk about a completely different color palette. I feel like these are very Eastery, actually, <laughs> really soft pastels. That is very much, very much my wheelhouse. Um, these are also in DMC order. Slightly different packaging on these. But they're still the heat sealed bags and have the Craftably branding. And again, with the round diamonds, I have not yet completed a square drill kit from Craftably. I really need to do that. Um, yeah, if you like pale pastels, I feel like this kit could be right up your alley. The special drills last. And these, it's a little bit easier to show you the colors as we go through them this way. Um, and you know, even though I feel like static is generally pretty climate dependent, I feel like I've encountered less static with Craftably kits in general. If you do run into static though, I recommend cutting up a dryer sheet into small squares and tucking some of those pieces um, into your storage containers or even um, 
if, if there's static in your bags, cut open the bag and tuck a square of dryer sheet in there and then kind of shake it and move it around before you try to pour it into the container. And it will generally make your life a lot easier. <laughs> so, um, man, these colors, they're so, so warm and cozy. So happy. Again, especially with Easter coming up, this kit is very much making me feel like Easter with the little bunny and everything. Okay, so we're getting into, oh, hold on a second. LZ310. That just looks like a regular 310 diamond to me. I wonder if, I don't know if they glow in the dark or something, but those, I don't know if those were intended to be a crystal, but it says LZ on here, but it's just a regular 310 diamond. I'm not, I'm not about to bother craftably, even if they're, they're still open. I will just, if I really want these to be crystals, I'm just going to hop over to DP with sparklers and get some myself. Um, then we have this kind of emerald green crystal. It's kind of, yeah, got a little bit of a tiny bit of a blue hue to it, but it's more of like an emerald green. Oh, this goldish crystal. Um, that's kind of like a pewter crystal. And then we have some ABs. This one's kind of a light chartreuse. And then a purple AB. Light, oh, three shades of purple AB again. We had these, we had three shades of purple ABs in the last kit. That's really funny. Uh, a nice big bag of this light blue AB and then kind of a medium to dark blue AB. So let's see if we can find these special drills which if they're anything like the last kit, there's going to be a lot of them throughout. So hypothetically, if that black color was supposed to be a crystal, um, it would be in this area over here. And then there's some of it sprinkled down here and a little bit in the middle of the bunny's eye and a couple in the, dra um, the hummingbird, I almost said dragonfly, no, hummingbird's eye. You know what? I don't know that those need to be crystals. I think I'm actually going to be more content with the just regular 310 color. Um, and then we have kind of that emerald green crystal color. Um, there's some of that right over here and in here. Uh, there's some of it here as well as in some of these darker green areas over here and here. And yeah, that's kind of all those darker green areas down there. And then we had the yellow crystal, which is a little bit in the bunny's ear. That's adorable. There's a little bit in the yellow of this flower over here. It was a, kind of more of a gold crystal, I guess. Um, there's some in the yellow of this flower's leaves. And right here, there's a couple. And then over here is that kind of goldish crystal as well as over here. And then the hummingbird's beak, of course is yellow crystals then we have our it's like a blue or a purple crystal or those kind of the pewter crystal color um kind of a pewter blue crystal let's see that one is there wasn't a ton of it that is in the center of the bunny's eye and there's a couple in the center of the hummingbird's eye as well that's all that I see of that one. Then we're gonna get into the ABs. We have the kind of chartreuse, the light chartreuse AB is sprinkled in the center of this flower. It is also right here on the edge of this pet flower petal here. It is, did I see it over here? Is my eye playing tricks on me? Mm. Okay. Oh, it's sprinkled through right here, the center of this particular flower, and there's a little bit of it on these petals. It's in the center of this flower over here, as well as a little bit right here. And sprinkled through some of these petals and leaves. Just give it a little shimmer. And then my eyes. Okay. There's some in the center here. It's the, it's the music note. <laughs> and yeah, that's it for that one. And then we have those three shades of purple ABs. <laughs> Let me see. I'm wondering if they're going to be grouped together. Maybe not. I see a lot of the dark purple AB in some of these areas. Um, and then the medium purple AB, there's a little bit of it in here as well. Um, the lightest purple AB, I don't see over there. But hopping over here, the lightest purple AB is in these stems. Um, let me see. Okay. And, um, the medium of the purple ABs is in here as well as, oh, there's a light purple as well. The dark purple is these dark purple outlines. That's dark purple AB. 
And there's kind of both of the other shades of purple ABs kind of intermittently throughout these petals. Um, and the medium shade of purple AB is in the rabbit's ear right here. And then, as is the light purple actually as well. Um, the light purple AB and the medium purple AB are in some of these flower stems and petals here and here. And if we hop over here, do we have any? Not that I see. Okay, um, two ABs to go. We had one that was a light blue that there was quite a lot of and one that was a dark blue. Um, take a look here. Uh, the dark blue AB is all throughout here and outlining up here. Um, let me see, it's the question mark symbol. Um, yeah, okay, so there's some of the light blue AB in this flower's petals and kind of these areas. Um, not in the bunny's fur. I was curious to see if they would have worked any in there. Um, there's some of the dark blue AB. It's the symbol here, a little kind of horizontal line. Um, more of the dark blue AB here. Let's see, is there any in the bunny's eye? Yes, that question mark that's in the bunny's eye. That's the light blue AB. In this flower, um, we do have a lot of the dark blue AB in it. Outlining up here as well. And yeah, that question mark symbol is not wanting to jump out at me, but we had kind of a big bag of it. Um, okay, so it is, it is, it's, it's kind of lines throughout here is the light blue AB, which the sky is really shimmery. So that does kind of make sense. Um, I feel like I must be missing it. <laughs> some of that AB, there's some sprinkled over here uh, because there was a big bag of it, right? I guess not huge, but I just am convinced that there must be more that I'm, I may be missing. So please do keep that in mind. And um, my apologies. Oh, it is. Oh, there's a lot of it up here. There's so there's the number seven, and then there's the question mark symbol. The question mark symbol is our light blue AB. So there is a bit of it in here too. And then the hummingbird. That's what I was expecting. We might see some there. So um. Yeah, lots in the flowers of the various crystals and AB colors, and then some of the other areas that do make sense to me, like hummingbird's beak, you know, the bunny's ears and eyes. I do like that special drill placement in this one. So I might hold on to this one and work on it. I, I, like, I don't want to work on all my craftably kits right away, so I might save it for next spring or summer. But this is Summer Splendor by... Bridget Voth. And that wraps up my unboxing of my last order from Craftably. I have a number of other kits from them that I've either picked up in D stashes or and or haven't unboxed here on my channel that I may still yet unbox in the future. And you will absolutely still see me working on Craftably kits here because I adore the quality and um, I'm going to work on the kits in my stash. And what I will do is for those of you that may be feeling like okay, but how, like, how does this help me? So I can just, you know, if I want to try to get my hands on craftily kits for myself, um, I'll just say again, I have seen quite a lot of craftily kits pop up in D stash groups. I'll link to a couple below. Um, if you would find that helpful, you can also check on Mercari, which is an app or eBay. Um, I don't see as many pop up in those spaces, but I think D stash groups are the places that I've seen them pop up the most on Facebook, if you have Facebook. So that's the direction I would point you in. And hopefully this at least gives you a sense for, is this something you would want to try to pick up in a D stash? So wishing the owners of Craftably, who are some of the sweetest and most genuine people out there, just wishing them all the very, very, very best. I'm so sad that things did not work out for them to continue, but I just really, really hope that they, you know, will still be maybe part of the diamond painting community as, as fellow crafters. And um, you guys, if you think of it, hop over to the Craftably group or Facebook page and send them some love and <laughs> let them know how much we appreciate them. Um, I'm sure that they would, you know, that would probably mean a lot to them. So 
Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more unboxings and reviews of completed paintings and various diamond painting tutorials and just diamond painting kinds of videos, I also do weekly open chats. Feel free to subscribe. I would absolutely love to have you here and I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Have a day and a week that's as wonderful as you are and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.